For the swipes, I use the Glidden Essential Sunny Gloss in white, and I mix that with a little GAC 800. And um, for my pouring medium, I use the Minwax Hellsman Spar Urethane. The reason I use this one is because it's a little bit more environmentally friendly. And I, have, I mix that up with, it up with the uh, Glidden Premium Semi Gloss Base 3. Semi Gloss Base 3. That's what I mix um, my colors with. So I mix two parts uh, semi gloss paint to the Spar Verithane, to one part Spar Verithane, and then I put those into my colors. And I mix my colors. Um, if I'm using two paints, um, I use one part paint to two to three parts um, pouring medium, depending on how thick they are. And if I'm using any, um, I'm using any pigments I use one part pigment and uh, two four parts medium so, uh, a quick look see as to what I do for the Shelly art now the Glidden essentials I only use this for swipes other than that I use the color place from um, from the uh, from Walmart and that is um, for my regular course for tonight's pour, I'm going to do a swipe and I have Liquitex Basics and that's Prism Violet and then I have, I do have the Artist Loft Ma um, Deep Magenta mixed with um, Liquitex Basics Cornacridone Magenta. I also have um, Art Minds Copper. And for the blue, I have the turquoise, Liquitex, I'm sorry, Artist Loft turquoise. And I mix that with a little Deco Art uh, Extreme Sheen in Sapphire. And for the deep blue, it's Arteza uh, Ultramarine Blue. And I mixed a little bit of Thalocene Blue from Master's, Master's Touch, uh, just to deepen it up a little bit. And those are my colors. And for the, um, the swipe color is white, it's Amsterdam white, and I mixed it one part paint to two to three parts Australian Floetrol, which my bottle is getting pretty empty. I have one more on the way. Kind of good to have your um, canvas level. You end up with something you didn't expect the next morning. All right, let's get to work on this swipe. I've got my color paint here. This is <clears throat> Glidden Essentials mixed with Yak 800, so I don't get any tracing. I did a pour the other day and I did not put the GAC 800 in and it was crazy crazy. So I'm going to need a lot of paint for this, hopefully not too, too much. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. Now we're going to start with, put just a little bit more. start with the magenta. And these are pretty thick. And I do want to put lay down quite a bit of color. Whoa, over. Totally missed that right there.
I'm really liking these cells. Oh, some of the paint got through on the edge of this side. Dang it. Not what I was looking for. Oh well. <clears throat> All right. Now let's flip this baby around. Yeah, the pink is not what I was looking for. To paint right here. All right. Here we go. The other side. There's no more white left, so I'm going to have to just do with what we have. some more over over it just to fill it in because it had one great big white streak here so anyhow folks i am getting ready to tilt i don't think i'm going to tilt a whole lot because i like um what's happening with it right now although i'm a little sad that the um the pink showed up on that side because that's not what i wanted so i'm just going to tilt it this way and get this stuff off right here very slowly.
You know, it's funny because some of these cells in here are turning out turquoise and purple and pink. Oh my! So it's going to be mostly a pink and purple painting. And I don't mind that. I'm kind of actually even liking it. Pull it down just a little bit. some reason on my iPhone it has a fade in fade out and I cannot get it to stop. I googled it I don't know how or why my phone is doing this I should probably take it into Apple. Anyhow here is um, the close-up I promised. I actually filmed a close-up earlier and oh, look, there's a little heart right there. Um, and I must have hit the slow-mo. <laughs> I am, an, yeah, technologically challenged. But these cells are looking spectacular. I'm really liking that. Look at that cell in the cell. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, we've got some new lighting so you can see better. And now we have a little glare. But um, I guess you got to give and take. So isn't that pretty? And I love how the the, um, the copper mixed with the pink to make like a peachy color. Anyhow, this is the wet result. I will have to show you the dried result when um, it's dry in a couple of days. But I'm kind of like it. It's very pink, very, very pink. I have a friend who just got married who I think would absolutely love this. Talk to you later.